<clears throat> Dear students and parents, members of the faculty and the Honorable Senior Vice Principal, a very good afternoon to you all on this auspicious day. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate this momentous graduation convocation for the School of Business and Management and the School of Politics and Economics. Now, before I delve into how amazing this experience has been, I would like a round of applause for all of you here for surviving through this tough ride and emerging victoriously. Now, life at King's has been a combination of several highs and lows. Every student at King's has gone through a period of utter discontentment and utmost failure. However, what makes this institution distinguished as a world-class organization is its vibrant spirit that drives us all to give our best even in times of utmost despair. Now, before coming here today, I, I spoke to an individual who described a degree as just a piece of paper to me. And I was compelled to think, is that actually true? And I've, come to the, and I've come to the conclusion that a degree is actually more than just a piece of paper. It is a testament to the hundreds of hours spent at King's. It is a symbol of prestige. It is a reminder of all the experiences and interactions we've had with an intellectually stimulating crowd. It is a humble gesture of being rewarded for all your efforts. However, the question for us to address is, what should we take back with us from our life at King's? We should take back with us an encompassing attitude of catering to our society. We should be a symbol of change. We should be a symbol of the change we want to see in the world. We should be representatives and ambassadors of peace and knowledge. Now, we all will enter diverse fields. Some of you would become corporate slaves, while the others would become the entrepreneurs who dominate those slaves. However, <laughs> I would just like to add here that we should never forget our humble beginnings and the challenging processes we all have been through. The world is in a muddled up state at the moment, where it requires us all to play the pivotal role of change agents. And King's has provided us with a unique identity and skill set that is more than enough to be those change agents. Some of you would enter politics, join the civil service, or even become social activists. Never compromise on the principles and the values you stand by. There would be times when it would seem impossible to implement those values. But if Kings has taught us one thing, it is to never give up. Now on a personal note, on the journey of our dreams and ambitions, we often tend to cloud our judgment and we forget the contribution of all those people who are responsible for bringing us here, be it our professors, mentors, the support staff at King's, and our parents. It is important for a successful life for all these elements to deserve a big proportion of our respect. And here, I would like another round of applause, a big one, for all those people who have sacrificed their present for our future. I would, I, would, I would want to repeat the last line, who have sacrificed their present for our future. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there is a lesson I would like to share with you. Back in 2013, I almost flunked my levels and uh, got rejected by nearly every university in the United Kingdom. There were times when even low-tiered universities wouldn't respond back to my email. Coming from a family of the strong alumnus of the Oxbridge community, I felt out of place. I had no future plans, and I was in a very undesirable state. However, it was my dream to study at King's, so I could live up to my true potential and honor my family's heritage. I took a gap year. I took a gap year, I worked day and night for my A-level, and finally, I got an offer from King's College London and University College London. But as I said earlier, the dream was to join a prestigious university, and the option was quite clear. King's it was. Now, 
Now, being a die-hard fan of the Rocky series, the lesson is quite evident here. It is not about how hard you hit. It is about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. Success, my friends, is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Ladies and gentlemen, I have had the honor of speaking at graduation ceremonies before, but I must concede that this is a special one. Today, some of my best friends, people with whom I've spent the best times of my university life with, are graduating, taking with them memories which we would together cherish for the rest of our lives. I wish I could go through all those moments we've spent together in the buildings of King's College London, but perhaps I understand now is the time to think about our future and make the big leap up the ladder of success. Normally, I would say good luck, but, I, but today I am compelled to say this, and I promise I mean every bit of it. Guys, you will be missed. Now, don't just go out and say, oh, I'm a King's College London graduate. Make sure it's worth it and you better prove it, yeah? <laughs> and one more thing. Imprint this proverb on your heart for the rest of your lives. Labor, omnia, Vincent. Work, conquers all. Thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs>